hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm making Jamaican rice and peas and yes you know we Caribbean people we love our rice and peas on Sunday it's just a traditional thing for us so guys I'm just gonna keep it simple easy with some simple ingredients but you can add whatever you want to add in your rice and peas you can whatever you want put in there go ahead and do so all right but for my rice and peas guys you can cook rice and peas without natural coconut it not gonna make it them like a powder coconut or them coconut cream the canned coconut in a give the rice and peas no justice it not get no flavor it not get no taste nothing so you, you definitely natural coconut so over here guys I've got one coconut that I already cut and wash about to blend I've got some spring onion scallion green onion whatever you call it wherever you are thyme green scotch bonnet because the green scotch bonnet pepper guys oh my gosh it gives the rice some peace a hum you just you know that smell the aroma yes i've got some fresh garlic and ginger like two cloves of garlic and fresh thyme and i got my peas over on the stove you can add a bit of pimento if you like in your rice and peas right so guys we're just gonna jump straight into this video but before we do so I just want to say thanks to all my returning subscribers and thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Thanks for always come back. And guys, please turn the post notification bell on so whenever I upload, you won't miss that video. Alright? So, yes guys. So, right now, I'm going to show you over the stove where me got all of the things, them, the peas are going and them thing they are cook. Alright? All right, guys. So over here, I got my Dutch pot, which yeah, me like cook rice and peas in my Dutch pot. Mm -hmm. So if you see me have this Dutch pot, you know I'm a rice and peas, and I cherish this Dutch pot, guys, because my uncle gave it to me before he passed. So I love this Dutch pot; it means a lot to me. So we're gonna add some garlic and our ginger and also gonna add some fresh thyme just for let that boil with the peas you don't want to add the scallion as yet nor the pepper nor the coconut milk right we're gonna do it stage by stage step by step right so i'm gonna allow this to cook for 15 minutes and then keep checking on it guys because as you see i don't have a lot of water in there so i have to keep checking on it so I'm going to check on it like five minutes to see if it needs more liquid and then I'm going to go ahead and add like three cups of water to it. So this is for two and a half cups of water, right? And I soak my beans from overnight. I'm using red kidney beans. So yes, yeah, so I have to keep check it to make sure it got enough liquid. All right. So guys, you can see that the liquid is going down so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add two cups of water three cups of water to it and then i'm gonna cover it back and let it stay there right so because you need a piece to cook so i'm just gonna add two two of this so that the piece can cook Now I'm going to pop back the lid on and let it stay there and cook. So now guys, my peas is cooked. So we're going to season the rice and peas, right? So I'm going to have my coconut milk in. And you don't need any butter. Some people do add a bit of butter, but for me, I'm using natural coconut milk. I don't need to add butter in there. No. You have to watch your cholesterol, guys. So I just use two and a half cup 
a coconut milk and I'm gonna add my green onion and my green scotch bonnet in there also feel free to add salt if you do but I'm not gonna add no salt to my rice and peas because salt and sugar and oil is not for me right I'm just doing it natural so guys yes yeah, so I'm gonna allow the coconut milk I'm gonna make sure it's there if you are stir allow the coconut milk to boil because if it don't boil guys the rice and peas will spoil by the next day so in order for you to check to see if your peas is cooked you just take up one with the spoon guys and you just use make sure your hands are clean and you just use your finger to test just press and you can see it's soft so yes you know when to season it so I'm gonna allow this to boil for about six minutes and then while well, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my rice to put it in my pot all right guys so guys now that my coconut milk is boiled and my rice is washed I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add it in so guys make sure you know the amount of liquid for the amount of rice I'm cooking three cups of rice so I need like two and a half cups of water because you don't want any your rice to get soggy, right? And when you put it in, guys, make sure you put your the fire on low heat because you don't want your rice to burn. And you just leave it there and let it cook. I do not put bags or file over my rice to cook. I don't do that. I just allow my rice and low heat and let it stay there and steam until it's done. That's how I cooked my rice. I don't use plastic bags. All these chemicals from all these files, these plastic bags. No. So I just turn it down and low and just pop back the lid on and let it stay there and cooked. And that's it. So guys, this is how the rice and peas is looking at the moment. Nice and shelly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the thyme leaves. Look at that guys. We're just going to let it fluff out for a bit. Just, just to show you how it's nice and shelly and it's on low heat. Hi guys, welcome back. So here's the finished product guys. of my Jamaican style rice and peas cooked in natural coconut milk and i'm having it with some iced mushrooms some barbecue mushrooms some salad avocado of course can't go wrong without piece of pear how you mean and some roasted potatoes and here is it guys look how the rice and peas shelly guys mm -mm. look at that Guys, not to mention these mushrooms. Oh my gosh, it's something to, it's divine. I can't wait to consume barbecue mushrooms. Hmm. So guys, remember to look after yourself and health is wealth. Once again, to all my returning subscribers and to all my new subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And remember, health is wealth. I'm going to keep repeating that in all my videos. So guys, if you like this video, you know what you do already, like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend if you tell a friend and come over here, yes, so, right, yes, so, she, yes, and come subscribe to my YouTube channel, also turn the post notification bell on, so whenever I upload, you won't miss the video. So guys, the video for this um, barbecue mushrooms would be out soon, so please look out for that it's coming so don't forget guys i'm gonna do the right thing eat good walk good stay safe big up on a nice clean self and i'll see you guys in my next video until then guys thanks for watching bye